There are four main dorsiflexors, tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, extensor hallucis longus, and fibularis or peroneus tertius. They all work to bring the foot upwards into dorsiflexion and control plantar flexion caused by ground reaction forces. The ground reaction force from heel strike occurs posteriorly to the ankle joint, causing plantar flexion. The dorsiflexors of the ankle need to control this motion for normal gait. During stance phase, we have initial contact where the dorsiflexor muscles hold the ankle in neutral dorsiflexion with isometric contraction. When the ankle transitions to plantar flexion for the loading response, dorsiflexor muscles eccentrically contract to control or lower the ankle into plantar flexion for the rest of the stance phase. During the swing phase, it begins with the initial swing where the dorsiflexor muscles concentrically contract to dorsiflex the ankle to allow the foot to clear the ground as the leg advances forward. From mid-swing through terminal swing, there is isometric contraction of dorsiflexor muscles which hold the ankle in neutral dorsiflexion and prepare for initial contact in the upcoming stance phase. Reasons for dorsiflexor weakness include weak or paralyzed dorsiflexors due to injury to the muscles, peripheral nerve supply, or nerve roots, lack of lower limb proprioception, functional leg length discrepancy. Dorsiflexor weakness can result in toe dragging and foot slapping. The dorsiflexors cannot eccentrically control the plantar flexion. This is an example of steppage gait. Here, the hip and knee have to flex to clear the foot from the ground. So an exercise that you can do to help with your dorsiflexor weakness is called the lean back toe lift. It's very easy to do. You lean against a wall and you put your feet out in front of you about 10 inches and you just lift your toes up towards the ceiling. You hold it for a couple seconds and put them back on the floor. And you do this repeatedly until your shins are fatigued. The next exercise we have for increasing your dorsiflexor strength would be the ankle roll. So you could roll your ankles clockwise 10 times and then reverse it and roll your ankle in the other direction counterclockwise 10 times. The first exercise that we're going to cover is called the 